Yeah, I bet it was. It was all shined up. Not a track one on the whole thing. <laughs> That's funny, man. Uh, my That's name's Ed Morton. <laughs> I'm from down around Double Adobe in between Bisbee and Douglas, Arizona. I'm an operator. Run crawlers, blades, and loaders. I stay at the man camp on my 7 on. 7 off, I go home. Mr. Morn is one of thousands of new workers in Arizona's copper industry, which has come roaring back to life after years of steady decline. Driven largely by surging demand from China, the boom has revived the fortunes of towns like Morency, site of the country's largest open pit mine. Housing here is in short supply, so much so that hundreds of workers now live in temporary trailers, which they call the man camp. Now the man camp's basically kind of like barracks. You know, you got your bed and, you know, your little wardrobe and TV in your fridge and just come in here and pass out and go back to work. I work a lot of, look, work a lot of overtime. I usually work seven days and then I work 13 days worth of nights. Production's really high. They're looking for high production, high tonnage. It's the, it's the copper game. When it's hot, it's hot. And when it's not, it's not. So you make the money while you can and put, put, put away the rest of it for a rainy day. For the first time in more than 30 years, new mines are opening in the state as well, like this one outside of Safford, Arizona. The mine brings with it desperately needed tax revenue and has spurred a wave of home and business construction in the area. Yet the growth has not come without cost. The mine has left a permanent scar on the landscape and altered the valley's once quiet way of life. It's uh, definitely a, a big change in the community. Um, it, it has its pros and it has its cons. You know, we all like our small uh, rural area, but you know, in order to create jobs and uh, to make it a self-sustaining area, then you know that growth has to be uh, pretty well mandated to uh, help survive. The revival has also touched towns like Miami, Arizona, where copper has driven the economy for more than a hundred years. Richard Perez, a retired miner, operates this diner near the heart of town. And it just one of them things that goes up and down with the copper industry here. Right now we're thriving, doing pretty good. Copper prices, however, have tumbled sharply in the wake of the recent financial crisis, triggering the first layoffs at some of the state's largest mines. If prices continue to fall, hard times may not be far behind. Just another fact of life for those who call this region home. It's like being with a copper mine, like being with a wife for 25 years. You argue and you fight sometimes with them, but when it's over and done with, you're happy to have them around and you appreciate them. This is John Collins Rudolph for the New York Times. Boop, 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 boop.